Hello folks, it's another beautiful morning in Southwest Florida, middle of October, mornings are 65 degrees, the afternoons are staying in the 80s now, water's cooling off, air is cooling off, redfish are all over the flats, it's a great time to go fishing. Spent almost the entire week out fishing with uh, Bill Daniels, uh, with uh, Brett, and uh, also Richie Riballo. Had a great time out there. I got some great video. You can see it running now of, uh, of Bill catching some nice fish, some reds. Uh, Brett catching reds. Richie, myself catching some snook and reds. Uh, really had a great time. I'll tell you what, getting out here uh, when, when the weather finally breaks and it cools off in southwest Florida is just incredible. Uh, we mainly use uh, Daniel's Deceiver's Top Water when we're out fishing with Bill. We're using his baits and boy they work. You can tell by the video. Uh, I've got the video running now uh, while I'm talking. And uh, I'll tell you, we're actually setting up some new stuff. I had to move some camera equipment around. Um, we've got a couple of uh, charter boat captains coming aboard. We're going to be doing on location video, high definition from both, uh, well, I should say from the entire region, from about Naples on up to Sarasota. Um, got some fantastic charter boat fishing captains that are going to be talking to us about fishing Southwest Florida, what they're using for bait, how they fish, some of the places that they fish. Um, Great information. I mean, when, when you really want to get to the source, you get to these guys that are out there working every day that are actually, you know, working for a living. They've got to produce in order to make a living. Uh, they know where the fish are. They know how to fish and got some great information to share with you guys about uh, fishing Southwest Florida. So uh, about next week or so, we should be shooting on location, high definition on these charter boats, probably most of the time sitting on the back of it, maybe doing a little fishing and talking and uh, have some great up to date stuff for you every week. Um, you know, little by little things are changing. Uh, we're kind of uh, coming up with some great content that people want. So uh, tune in and check out our new format, our new high definition video. We've got great stuff coming out of the studio too. Had to do a little redesigning there to make things look a little bit better. But definitely stay tuned. Um, out here, Charlotte Harbor fishing. Get out there and fish. Uh, crazy if you're not. There's snook all over the canals. You got a low tide. There's snook every place out there. If you like bait fishing, bait fish. Get on some shiners. Get some pin fishing. Like shrimp you know use shrimp um, honestly I think the pinfish are probably doing better than the shrimp uh, from what I've seen out there anyway the snooks seem to love those pinfish so if you're in the canal systems anywhere in Charlotte Harbor you know get out there with some with some nice pinfish or you know if you want to use shrimp use them uh, you're bound to get some snook their sheep's heads are coming back nicely now uh, you, you know everything mangrove snapper redfish are out on the flats they're moving out from the you know that hiding out from the shadows now that the sun isn't quite so hot and it's cooling off so they're getting out and schooling on the flats. so you could actually sight fish pretty easy for them um, so really had a great time even went up to uh, tippy canoe uh, went out to the uh, west wall did some uh, fishing up and down the Mayaka with bill and and uh, brett and richie and uh, you could just see the schools of fish all over the place, bait fish. Um, we went up Ponce Leon Park uh, doing some trolling. And uh, I thought there were mullet. There were actually so many tarpon all held up in Ponce Leon in the canal system there going into PGI that uh, they, they look like mullet schooling. I mean, just all over the place. Great trolling in the evening, uh, going out with Bill a couple of times. And we always catch fish one way or another. They may be smaller or bigger, either too big to keep or too small to keep as far as snook go. But we always get on them, some jacks, um, even tarpon all over there. So if you're trolling Ponce Leon Park, the PGI Canal Systems, getting down to Alligator Creek, or even Pirate Harbor and Burnstorm Marina, I mean, it just produces a lot of fish. It's a lot of fun. And if you if you got a little arthritis and your arms hurt or your back hurts, a little trolling never hurt nobody. Put it in the rod holder, relax, sip on a cup of coffee, and reel in a nice fish. So uh, enjoy the video. We got some, like I said, great stuff coming up next week. And uh, tune in and uh, love to hear from you. Love to get the feedback. Love all the great feedback we're getting in Facebook. I believe, I believe we surpassed a lot of our local media, even in Facebook likes. So it was kind of good to see that and glad to see our fans are liking us and liking the content and coming back for more. So check us out next week. Great new video coming up. We're going to be on location at some really, really cool charter boat guys. Okay, Frank's on one.
I know, they... There he is. He ain't gonna make it, but... He no, let's get a picture of you right here. There you go, Frank. There it is. Uh-huh. Shell Creek Snook, 302T, brand new lure. <laughs> Big Frank. He's a little small, but who cares? He got a strike. He's fun. Yes, sir. He's got some fight to him, don't he? Boy, I'll tell you, they must eat really good around here because they're fat and they fight. All right, let's look back and forth. There you go. There we go. There's Frank's another 27 incher. You go, Frank. Pull that snook in here. Here we go. I am, I'm gonna have to go. I guess I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna get my sartreuse out because I think that's what you're using that sartreuse in black. Yes, we are. I think it's a red. Stop it! It's a snook. It's a snook. It's a snook. It's a snook. I've seen it. No, not a big one. I'm telling you. It's a nice snook. Oh, it is a nice red, too. Oh, Mr. Bill Daniels. I'm glad, I'm glad I brought you so you could show me how to catch fish today, I guarantee. Ooh, that's a nice keeper. That's a, one of those ones Darren we just told me the other night. <laughs> How about that guy? Very nice. Uh -huh. On a 302. Yeah. And Richie wanted to go home. Okay. Give me one now. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> Compared to what we caught today, he's a go right now. Turn back to you. Turn back this way. Get point two. There you go. I think it's both. There you go. There's Big Daddy Frank with him there one is. now. Boy, what a great lure. Thank you, sir. There, there, it is. Is. <laughs> there you go, Frank. Beautiful, pretty snug. That is the 302T. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Get this hook out of him. I don't think he's going to make it, though. No, he? he's not going to make it. He's too small, but he was fun. Yeah, good life, big guy. And off he Good job, Frank. Awesome, thank you, sir. Is 
It's awful green there. <laughs> okay, Frank's got another one. This is number five for Frank. Four. Four or five. A personal record for Cowan, anyway. That's for sure. All fairly good size. Up, up. He got all awesome. for me. Awesome. Very got good. For me. <laughs> a lot of snook today, man. Yeah. Change of weather, change of lure. Cooled off, a lot of fish up here, a lot of food up here, and a few people trying to sneak in, so we're yeah. gonna catch them all before they do. Yeah. Frankie's on another one. It's five or six, I can't remember. He's gonna take your picture and let me go. Nothing to worry about here. Nothing to worry about. He finally got one that swallowed it. There he is. Another deceiver deceives another snook. Get this hook out of there before he does Let me get a good picture of him there. There, there we go. There he is. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bill. You're welcome, Frank. Another deceiver. This is what, number 10 or 15? I don't know, but. There's a tournament going around up here in the river or in the creek. And I think we're out doing everybody. We should just join late here. Let me get the mold up. Frank, you think they like that lure? I love that lure. That is a good lure, my friend. Don't buy a Daniels Deceiver unless you want to catch a whole lot of snook. Because <laughs> uh -huh. it will. Beautiful, my friend. Beautiful. Very good. Okay, Frank's on him again. Another one on the annual receiver. What a great bait. I mean, we are really catching a lot of snuff. AKA the green monster. Oh, man. There it is. Yeah. Beautiful, Mr. Bill Daniels. More snuff. That's six, seven. I don't remember. I lost count. I That's mean, how many you've caught. That's a lot of snook we're catching today. Here. Right. Daniel's fishing for snug, and I believe he found some. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Wow, that's a here in the middle. Back to the dam. You don't like it down there. He's right here. He's coming up. You got him, right? Yeah. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bill. Another beautiful, beautiful smoke on a Daniel Deceiver. There it is. <laughs> Let's see if we can get these hooks out. 